a lot of these programs have been put together put together by experts you know who select the dialogue and the text and, and the music and they score it so these are like a lot of these documentaries like the CNN documentary are actually part works of art and part mind control so in order to um, you have to watch these programs a lot and maybe focus on some parts and do your own research um, to really break it down. Here we go, right here. Nowhere does it mention. I know this must right here. And when they say that in King's original, um, only known um, copy of that speech, it nowhere mentions dream. <laughs> now you see what it says right there: the 1954 Supreme Court decision, right? The 1954 Supreme Court decision. I want you to keep that idea in mind. And remember Jeremiah chapter 23, because part of our history as black people, speaking more um, um, globally, that's a good shot right there, because she's the one who, remember the, the black woman, remember what Willie Lynch says about the role of the, of the black woman in, in, his, in his scheme and his conspiracy. The black woman is very, very important that means the black woman is important but it's who is she loyal to and who is her allegiance to the true god or antichrist and it's clear that this woman she's like so many other black people who have been traumatized and broken you know to worship the image of the beast but still everyone will have to give an accounting for themselves and that is that but let's go to you the second dream oh. and i have always felt that some remember, remember, it says she had a dream that stuck with him. The day of the march, Dr. King takes this only known copy of his speech called Normalcy Never Again with him. Nowhere does it mention his dream, but it does mention the 1954 Supreme Court decision. Now, why is that important? 